Chance Perry. I'm a poet and a painter on the road, and my bus is called Poet's Journey. And I built out about 18 months ago and took me three months to build out. I started off in the Chicago area and found a bus nearby, um, went directly to the source called First Student, got the bus for $1,500 and then spent about a total of 8,000 to build it out with used furniture from Habitat for Humanity. I re just took flooring out of an older home, um, repurposed a lot of lumber, because you know, lumber prices went up with the pandemic. And um, I was an interior designer, so it was something that kind of came natural to me to kind of have a palette with black and white and copper and then throw color in. Um, and I wanted this to be a bus that felt like home. And I think I succeeded in that because it's, um, it's a great vehicle that goes all over the country. And I have a new view out my window every day or every couple of days. And I open up all these glorious windows to the beautiful fresh air and the ocean or the mountains or the forest and I I'm just loving being on the road well this is gorgeous and very and so all of this artwork is your art you are an artist and a writer so this bus is fairly new for you over the past couple years um, yeah, I, I started, I bought it 18 months ago. It took three months to build out and I hit the road in October and headed south just so I could stay warm. I built out in Chicago and it got a little too nippy to use your hands in the cold to do all that needed to be done. So it's been a work in progress. I've been glamping the whole time, but as I, I had to do work as I, as I was driving yeah. so I could park in um, Home Depot parking lots and finish out my plumbing or work on um, installing different different things like the solar system and working on it that way. And Tell me about your solar. The solar, I have four house panels on top, so about 1200 volts and then two Battleborn batteries in the garage. And that is perfect for the lighting, my refrigerator, um, and then when it comes to heating elements, which zap that power pretty quickly, I have a little mini uh, fireplace, I have a hot pot, I have an oven, and I also have a mini split in the back, which um, I can run those for about two hours and then uh, have to go plan for a sunny day. And of course you're unlimited when you have a sunny day. So the back here is my bedroom. Um, there's storage underneath, which was a, a small buffet unit. And I have an air mattress, which is actually really nice. It's lightweight if I want to move it. Um, oh, that's an air mattress. Okay. Right. So I just deflate yeah. it when I have to okay. get to the storage underneath. And my right. and my 100 gallon, gallon water tank is underneath. Okay. It's very, very comfortable. And I, okay. if I want to sleep under the stars, I just take it outside. Um, What's your is, puppy's name? This is Oliver. Hi, Oliver. Yeah, he's my <laughs> Look at him. Companion. There you go. <laughs> what an adorable dog. Um, well, yes. Let me, do so you mind if the, I get back in here and no. uh, okay? So behind the green wall is my garage. Okay. And um, we'll just do a pan around here. Look and at then this. The hundred gallon water tank underneath. Okay. The mini split. Oh wow. Um, little touch of home here my children okay and scarves and jewelry i kind of tend to wear one color and i just when i want to be creative can be creative that way rather than carrying a whole lot of clothes okay the bed looks really cozy oh down comforters are a must when you've got 30 degrees to sleep in at night and you did all of this yourself right wow these are um, and then we've got wood the floors. Blacks out all the windows and uh -huh. keeps the heat in or keeps the cold out. Okay. Um, and so I have those that fit into every window when I want to be stealth. Okay. Um, Let me get and around here. Windows in a bus, oh, so I you see. Here's your scars. Okay. Yeah. And scars. And just forgive the view here. The bed 
takes up almost nine tenths of the of the uh, mm -hmm. area. So, mm -hmm. but I think you guys get an idea of what we have here. Look at this. I'm a painter on the road and an artist, so. You can see I, I paint with bright color and love to paint a lot of the vistas that I see. And I paint with nail polish. I love the layering. I love kind of a dot George Surratt effect. It's gorgeous. And then also that art came came about in the tile work in the bathroom, Let me which get a was yeah, let's get a tiles color. that were oh. repurposed from um, job sites where there's extras and so I mixed and matched and created a mosaic on the back. And then with the painting behind you, you can see a lot of the nail polish in detail. Okay. Oh, and look at this. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Wow. Okay, and tell us about your toilet here. So it's composting, um, pretty simple. Pee into a, a gallon jug and water the plants wherever I'm at. And then um, there's uh, usually I'll use sand that's in the area or I'll use kitty litter for number two. Now, do you shower in here? Yes. Okay. This just becomes kind of a, a storage unit. I'm, I'm getting yes. um, gift boxes ready for some friends' birthdays and my daughter's, and so I'm piling all my goodies in there. Okay. I'm getting them ready to send off. Is somebody whining over there? Yeah. Does she? Okay. Aww. Are you hungry? Should we feed you some lunch? Or do you need to go outside? Oliver, what a cute... Yeah. He's probably hungry because... Yeah, hungry. well, let's see. Where do you where do you keep up? Let's see if you're doing what you do here. I just cleaned out my cabinets yesterday. So, because I cleaned out my bins yesterday. We were stuck in the windstorm, right? Yeah, so uh, a lot of people got stuff done yesterday. And I redid a whole lot of things. Yeah. And you clean once, and then right after the windstorm, you have to clean again, so. Oh, I know. Yeah. So, I have a, um, in the kitchen, I have a tabletop, uh, stovetop um, propane burner. And I just bring that out when I want to do tabletop cooking. And otherwise, it's put away. Come here, Ollie. Come here. Are you hungry? You just want to think about it? It's right there. There we go. Okay. Um, well, what did did you want to show anything over here or? Um, yeah, over here is is just clothing storage and where oh, all okay. the reflectix uh, window coverings. Okay. Um, stacked up. All right. Oh, and this is this is another door that I put in the bedroom to keep the heat in the bedroom at night. Okay. And I'll let the, the rest of the bus get cold at night. Um, so it's cozy. This is my TV room, and I wake up in the morning and turn on the the heater, and it stays warm and have coffee. So just yeah, okay. a lot of these reflective storage. And, and I see you got your your canvases down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, do you you sell your art? I do. And on this, Etsy, okay. Under Ansbury Studio, and Ansbury is spelled A N S P E R R Y. Okay. So I have goddess art and landscape painting, and whatever else I feel like making on the road. So. So they are for sale, everybody. Mm -hmm. And this is how you support yourself. Yeah, it puts gas in my gas tank. And another way just to follow my journey is this poet's journey on Instagram. Okay. And then if you want to see more artwork and my poetry, I have that posted on Poet and Sperry on Instagram. Okay. So it's again A N S P E R R Y. And we will and that will be there for mm -hmm. everybody. Yes. Yep. So I have a little strap here that um I have refrigerator.
we're filming right now. Can you come back in five minutes? That's okay. Yeah, yeah we'll be done in five. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. You're very popular. <laughs> and and they're gonna everybody's and everybody else is gonna get to see it too. Right. As they're watching this video. Right. Yeah, I know. I know. I really, it's like I really wanna encourage uh women who are at a time in their life where they're letting things go or they are divorced or you know they are in an abusive relationship and they need to um, escape kind of thing I, I really encourage those women to take the dive and um, not be afraid to be out here on the road where there's lots of community and a lot of women helping women and um, this kind of build is fairly simple and it is something that as a woman with some ingenuity you can do on your own absolutely um, up here is a just a small um, oven for toast and for I guess it does air air fry broil toast whatever oh, okay. it's all I need I don't need anything bigger than that you okay. know I'm, I'm not a huge eater but it, it's perfect and then this is a basically is a larger dorm fridge that just has a uh, freezer on top I, it's made in a way that is so efficient that it's not pulling much from my solar and it's surprising how little energy this uses so um, it's been a great buy and yeah that's kind of it up here is an escape hatch but I love to um, sit on the roof and watch uh, sunsets at night and then I have my solar panels up on the back half well yeah when we go outside you can show me how you get up there yeah I just yeah. put a ladder right here and okay climb right out here oh okay where do you yeah, keep your actually, ladder I climb on top of these oh okay and I, and I oh out, so. well see what wonderful exercise yes it's, it is it's like nomads yoga. we we can exercise don't we yeah oh uh, yeah just coming up and down these stairs on the bus. That's yeah. Good. Now, how much water do you carry with you? Um, I have three that I, if I want drinking water. Okay. And then the 100 gallon tank is for showers and washing oh, dishes. Oh, okay. Washing the dog. I know. I can even, I have a, an outlet outside, so if I have to clean my solar panels, I can put the What a nice uh, cup. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. She's getting water for me here. <laughs> Yeah, I love those old carnival glass pieces. So yes. there's a little bit of glass on the bus. It's something that can mm. get broken, but it's, I don't know. It's thank you so much. Something special. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I feel special drinking out of it. Yeah. Very nice. Catch Oliver in the sun. That's his favorite place. To... Yeah. Oh, is it? You happy now? <laughs> it must be wonderful traveling with he is and, a yeah. good traveler. Yeah. No complaining. Loves to meet all the new dogs. There's just dogs everywhere. And um, he's a great icebreaker. Um, everybody knows his name. And I'm Oliver's mommy. Yes. you. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and Oliver's mommy is a great artist. Yeah. And you sing too, I hear. I do. Yeah. Your voice yes. changes when you get older, so I'm not the soprano I used to be. But oh, okay. You have to learn new new uh, harmonies. Tell me about your dressers here, the or your cabinets. Yeah, uh, so the, this was a dark brown um, antique buffet, which I just took all this cabinetry which of different colors, painted it white, added mm -hmm. hardware, and then I did a faux finish on top to remind me of vertigree uh, copper because copper is kind of a theme I've got going all over the place mm -hmm. and um, it hides dirt really well and it it takes a lot of uh, bangs and whatever and I just patch it now and then and um, yeah it's just these all these pieces of hardware these used to be on that unit over there and, okay um, I just added the copper to uh, what would normally be you know, no, where did you find the dressers? Did you already have them or did you no, look everything for everything came from Habitat for Humanity? Oh, okay. I just repurposed pieces that I found there. The beds were a futon. I just divided into two pieces and uh, I built the upholstery and sewed the upholstery fabric and all the curtains and all the This is a good idea. It's leather. Yeah. And she cut it and then 
Yeah, I did. I did really strong magnet magnets. I tried the child protective and right with the bumps. They just did not hold up. So that by this by itself holds up really well. Now I see that this is different. This is a piece of wood, but the one over here, everything's so eclectic. Mm -hmm. This is totally different. Yeah, this is, uh, it was a piece that I found at Habitat and it's the, the butcher block and I just stained it. Oh, wow. Color. Okay. So, um, yes. And again, yeah, that's a good color to hide, hide dirt. And, right. And whatnot. And underneath here is the sink and I just okay. pull out the, um, this piece, use it as a cutting board and then oh, have access to Okay. The Can we see in here or? This looks interesting. Oh. Oh. Okay, wow. Isn't yeah. this wonderful, everybody? My goodness. It's nice. So yes. I usually will do... Look how thick this is, too. <laughs> wow. I'll do dishwashing in here, get all the food and everything out, which I don't want in my gray tank. Yeah. Out the window it goes, and then and then I'll fill this up with just you know hot okay. soapy water, and yeah. I don't mind that going into the gray tank, but not dirty water. So. Okay. Um, Ta da! Yeah, and then of course this is your artwork. Right, the, and behind this is um. Oh. I don't know if I should open this because oh, on bumpy right. roads sometimes they'll get close and they'll fall out. So. Right on, right yeah. on. Yeah, but yeah, it's just <clears throat> uh, paint in between two pieces of glass. Yeah. Did you make these as well or no, buy I them? No, okay. store in okay. Asheville, North Carolina. Okay. And you got the pine cones. Yeah, that was from a class I did yeah. down in Florida with some kids. And um, we, we painted pine cones. Let's see, let's look down here. It's a nice faucet. Um, yeah, and it, it will go outside if I need it to, but I, I oh, don't. I never okay. use it outside. I love this back, which yeah. I'll eventually have plants um and doing okay sprouting of pieces but this is really great when you're quick to get on the road boom 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 just throw everything back here okay also it's really quick access when i want something oils and vinegars and um cooking mm -hmm. i was painting this morning so that's there um but yeah it's great for quick access now let me ask you was this all planned out already before you did this on paper I did or okay yeah I you, you I didn't know what I was going to find but I knew that I had six and a half feet to work with once I blocked everything out um, and I actually had this little half foot left over so I had to build this to fill in that six inches so it, it's homemade, but it's oh. it's it's a pantry with all my dry goods. Oh. Um, and I just had that that extra space to fill out. Um, but it, it's worked out really nice because I don't really need to have a pantry. Um, and I love that I left the top uh, shelves open, and it feels much more airy and light in here because of that I don't have cabinets everywhere or I didn't I didn't block off the windows because I just love the light and um, everything on the shelving people say oh my god it has to bounce out and fall on the floor it's got velcro on there pretty much everything or I have shelf liner so nothing slips and it's it's I'm down some bum bumpy roads and nothing falls so this is um well it's nothing less than spectacular, actually. Yeah. It, yes. It is a glorious home. It's yes. 250 square feet. I, I got don't need more. Yes. Nature is my uh, back door. Yes. Out the back door, and that's where my living room is. So. Yes. Um, into making jewelry also um that was a trade so with other artists i will give them paintings and they we trade art together okay <coughs> so there's quite a yeah. few traded pieces yeah. did you do all the electrical yourself yeah Ooh. now how did you learn how to do that did you just get online did you get a book so i was an interior designer and a okay. teacher for years okay. and i flipped many houses so i've learned a bit oh. Out okay. that but I find that there's so many great resources on YouTube and great YouTube teachers especially schoolie build out 
Um, Meredith and Paco are my favorite teachers for Schooly Build Out. They're um, slow and steady and show you step by step and um, kind of lead from beginning, middle, end. So they're really great teachers. Um, and that's, that's what it took was watching a lot of YouTube videos. And you obviously put the floor in yourself. Yeah, a lot of the pieces um, were pre-cut and I just snap them in. It was really fairly easy. And I went wall to wall knowing that not it didn't have to be perfect at the wall because all my furniture is going to be yes. on top of it. So you want to let that float. You never want to nail in a floor because it contracts and it, um, it moves de depending on the heat or the cold. So it has to be able to contract and, and um, move about underneath whatever is on top of it so and you obviously did the ceiling also well the ceiling is exactly the way it came i like that it's um it's got the mesh ceiling that breathes and it doesn't take in moisture and cause in a lot of bus bills they're getting moisture issues and then mold so i just left this because i like that it breathed and it has a good inch and a half of insulation in it anyway and that's fine for me when i follow 70 degrees but I taped this detail. I love the, the riveting um, and painted it copper to highlight it. I like the copper. It's a warm, warm color. Uh, if I did everything white, it would feel like an ice box. So I popped in the, the copper just to warm things up. Okay, I've got some art back here. Yeah, I have a series yeah. of, of self-portraits, oh. COVID, oh. when I had no nothing to do. Yeah, I just <laughs> did a lot of different self yeah. And then, oh, we got down here. This is all my artwork. I have canvases and, and tubes of paint, and I store it in that. Then when I have classes outside on the picnic tables, I take those boxes outside, and we have a painting class. I collect frogs. So there's many frogs on board, and that's because I hop over obstacles easily. There you go. Yeah. I love this basket here. It's very interesting. It's full of, this is a piece I've had 35 years. Um, <laughs> it's just an Indian uh, fetish piece that mm -hmm. I love. Oh. And then this is my, I just came from Schoolie Swarm where everybody has stickers. And I put these on my back door on the inside um, just as a reminder of where I've been and who I met. And we all trade stickers because that's the cool thing to do in the bus world. Um, I don't, do you do that with vans? You don't have the place to put stickers in your van. Well, um, now Paul does on his. I don't put stickers on my minivan only because yeah. I like to be stealthy. But I yeah. do have a sticker to give you. Oh, Before great. you go, yes. Great, great. Yes. Yeah, it, I, I, it's on the inside of the back door. Okay. And um, I don't put them on the outside of the right. basket. And, and then I, I love, love painting rocks. Yes. And on Me the back too. of the rock, I say, if you find this rock, go to um, this poet's journey yes. and tell me where you found it, and then uh, go hide it again for someone else okay. to find. Okay, yes. So it's fun to do because you have this out in the middle mm -hmm. of nature somewhere, and it's right. a fun find it's for children or yeah. for anybody who's hiking about. I was into carving rocks. The only one I did keep, I actually had a big rock that I carved a whole scene on um, wow. with a Dremel tool. Wow. Oh, yeah. But the one that I still have, and I carry it with me, it's kind of buried. I just put, I carved in, yes, very deep. Mm. Yes. I love that word. Mm. It's not no, it's yes. Yes, I want to do that. Yes, yes let's go somewhere. Yes. I, I can try that. Yeah. Yes. Um, I may not succeed at first, but I'll try, try again. Right. Yeah. It's a yes, yeah. although no can work too, but yes is a little bit more fun sometimes. Mm -hmm.
this. This was the original mechanism to open and close the school door, but I like oh. that it's kind of steampunk. So yeah. I'm going to build more steampunk on the side as oh. I go, because yeah. I just think it's kind of cool. Yeah, I do like it too, yeah. Yeah, the artist in me has saved a lot of <sighs> old, cool things. And then we've got, this is very plush. It's one of those. It's a baby blanket that I just oh. sewed it on the corner and it fit over the, the okay. top. And I can pull it off easy to wash. And of course it matches all of it. I didn't realize these were, you, you could hang things on these. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so those yeah. are just leftover pulls yeah. for the, and it, then I, I put those to look like the riveting detail. Right. And um, copy that. You are awesome, I'm telling you. This is, yeah. So these are cool. This is Choya, and I have little white lights inside and the beads, so then they, oh. they have um, battery packs that they can be night lights. Oh, okay. That's just another art project. I'm and this, on. is the same in here too? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, I see, yeah, there's, uh, yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah. so pretty when they're lit up at night. And you got the fans going. This almost looks like art. It looks like a face. Is there a face mm -hmm. in there or something? I don't know. I see. <laughs> okay. A little Bondo, a little... I know, it, but it looks very artistic, like there's a little face in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you see art wherever you go. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> So we'll start with the engine, which is when you're buying buses, you kind of want to find the most popular engines. Um, and you can go to Schoolie Nation, Schoolie Planet, and kind of get into those feeds and understand what people are looking for. I got a DT46, 466T, because it is the most common engine in America and in Europe. So. Um, I can always find parts and always find a mechanic to fix it. That's always important. Um, and then painting the bus, I kind of went with the banding effect and keeping the lower half black, which makes some of it go away, like the big black wheels. And then I banded the, the center portion with color and then did the rooftop white because of the reflecting value in the heat. I have uh, Tropical up there that really, when I painted this bus the first summer, it reduced the heat in this bus by 30, 40%. And I also tinted all the windows in the bus. And again, that took another 20%. So I was 50% cooler in the bus after tinting and the white roof. So that was important. Um, and then it came to taking all the decals off of the school bus and that's kind of by law you can't drive around a school bus with the county that, that your school name um, and so there was a lot of peeling off decals and then sanding 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 how long did it take weeks wow and priming a lot of priming um, and then finally the day of painting was only one day and that was really fun. Just Sherwin Williams donated eight gallons of paint for me. I told him this was a, a build uh, that was all for Habitat for Humanity and showing what I could do with that. There's a lot of uh, mix matched paint in the back that people return. They have shelves of it. You go back there, you choose the colors you want and often they'll give it to you or give you a really good deal on it. So it's just regular house paint on the on the outside of the bus and I went at it with a brush at first and then came back at it with uh, uh, spray paint and did the bright color, um, what I call flowers, and they get bigger and bigger as you go around the bus until you hit the back end and then they're as big as the headlights and the brake lights. and. Um, it is such a friendly bus going wherever I am. People always knock on my door. Who are you? What do you do? If I'm in a campground, I'll have children chase me down the road thinking I'm the candy truck or I'm selling popsicles. And um, it's really been great. I can also be stealth in this way because I can park in the city and nobody thinks I'm camping. I look like a classroom or a you know a uh, commercial vehicle versus a recreational vehicle, which they don't allow to park. So I park near schools, I park near churches, um, and can park in the middle of the city anywhere and be stealth. 
The wheels are magnificent. Are they? <laughs> I was really drawn to the wheels. They're so large. They're just um, big bus wheels. Is it? Is it? How is it expensive too? If you so would have the to. The whole set of wheels would have been twenty five hundred dollars. Okay. So I feel like I got them for free because I got the bus for fifteen hundred bucks, um, knowing that there was some brake work that had to be done, and um, so normally buses go offline at ten years for twenty five hundred dollars. If you're paying more than that, you're paying a middleman. So you always want to go directly to the school system or the bus transportation company, and then you know that the maintenance has been really good for those ten years, and they okay. have a great log of what's new and what's been replaced on that bus. Okay. Yeah. And now there's the little area on the left side of the bus. Under the driver's seat. Well, is, okay. Yeah, it's the um, circuit panel for all that is electric in the bus. Okay. And I would say 90% of it was all unplugged. Okay. Because it, it was the all the alarms for the um, emergency doors and the the um, the light that's on the top of the bus and the okay. the gate that goes out when and all the stop signs there's so much that that bus driver has to do when they stop a bus to make sure his kids are safe and I just unplugged all of that I don't need it is it easy to drive it is so easy to drive okay once I'm in the seat I feel and I look out I just feel like I'm in a truck um, I just have to be aware that I have a big butt. And I have to <laughs> be careful where I back up and be careful, um, you know, when I'm going around corners or I'm going into a parking lot, when I swing out a little bit, I have to just be aware of where I'm sitting. Well, those are supreme mirrors up there. They're cool. They're, they're specifically designed for those tiny children like preschoolers, kindergartners that might walk in front of the bus when they get off the bus so that helps the driver and personally at this point I don't need them because I'm not taking kindergartners for a ride but I kind of like how planetary they are they just remind me of great big planets in the sky yes the light that they that they give thank you so much for sharing Oh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. I really, I'm here to encourage women who are ready to be on the road and build out whatever feels like at home for them and whatever works in their budget. So um, feel free to message me on Instagram or um, on Facebook. And again, tell everyone how they can reach you. And of course, we're going to go ahead and put it in the video description right. in the comments. Oh, it's right here. And before I leave, I will get all that information. Yeah, there we so go. This too. Look at that. So it's uh, Instagram, This Poet's Journey. And for my artwork and poetry, you can go to Poet Ann Sperry. And on Etsy, it's Ann Sperry Studio. Uh, I'm on the road and I pass your town and you see me come knock on the door. I love to have people in for coffee and uh, writers groups where we meet and read each other's work. Or I also do classes on the road and come in for a paint in and do a painting of your own to, to take home. Thank you so much for sharing your world, your life, and your home. Oh, you're welcome. Thank it's you, and good to meet you too, Oliver. Oh, it's nap time for Oliver. Yes. It's nap time. Well, bye everyone. <laughs>